guys! Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about a topic that I've been receiving a lot of questions about. And that is, how much does the cabin crew earn or what is the cabin crew salary? If you are interested, just keep on watching. Before we begin, I have good news for those of you who are not based in the Philippines but are interested in joining my cabin crew masterclass. I'm going to be holding an online cabin crew interview masterclass. If you're interested, just send me an email at dayswithcat at gmail.com. As we all know, the cabin crew profession is a very lucrative job, meaning it has a lot of benefits. You can travel, um, even your family can travel as well. And a lot of girls and guys just really want to be in this profession. And one of the main reasons is because of the salary. But even before I became a cabin crew, it was kind of difficult for me to go online and search how much does a cabin crew really earn. So to pacify your queries and your curiosity, I decided to make this video for you. So let's get started. Now on today's video, I'm gonna try to be as transparent as I can be, meaning I'm gonna be giving you real figures, but these are based on my personal experiences. I can only speak for my experience based on how much I earned from the airline that I worked for and the airline that I am currently working for. Different airlines will have different compensation packages, but they don't really differ that much. I mean, the, the variations are not that drastic it's not huge so you can at least compare you're gonna have an idea at the end of this video how much a cabin crew earns cabin crew salary here in the philippines now if you're based um, somewhere else if you're not from the philippines not planning to work for any airlines here in the philippines you can skip this part of the video as i have mentioned in my previous videos i have also worked for an airline here in the philippines so again just a little disclaimer the figures i'm going to be giving you is based on how much i earned while i was working with them a cabin crew salary is broken down as follows. First, you're going to get your basic salary, your productivity, and um, uh, hotel allowances. But during the time that I was working for that local airline here in the Philippines, we didn't have any layovers yet, meaning we don't go to a certain country and stay there overnight or stay in any hotels. So it doesn't apply for me during that time. So how much was I earning when I was working for a local airline in the Philippines? So let's start computing. My basic salary during the time that I was working for the local airline here in the Philippines was 11,000 pesos, which was given every 15th and the 30th of the month. So it's not much, right? It's very less. So now this is where the package becomes really, really competitive. Um, Every month, we fly certain hours, and for that hours, we get paid by the hour. So I just forgot how much exactly I got when I was working for, uh, for this local airline. But if I fly like 100 hours in a month, I would get a total, including my basic salary, I would get a total of like 40,000 in a month. On top of that, basic salary and the productivity since we also sell onboard products um inside the aircraft yeah on board we also get 10 percent of uh 10 percent from the profit so it's like a commission so that's very easy right um for a fresh grad it's not bad at all if you're single you're not supporting anybody if you earn forty thousand every month plus you get commission from your onboard sales I would say it's really, really, really good. Again, like what I said, this was during the time that I was working for them, which was like eight, nine years ago. So the packages probably has changed. There might be a slight increase in the salary. So maybe at this time, they would earn like 50000 for the new joiners. Now, let's go international. I'm sure a lot of you are really curious. How much does an international flight attendant earn so the package doesn't really differ that much meaning the salary is broken down into three um, basic salary the hourly flying pay um, we also get our hotel allowances because obviously we do have layovers and we also have um, transportation allowances for supervisors but what I'm gonna be discussing for you guys is um, the entry level meaning when you initially join 
the airline. How much money are you really going to get? From here on, all the currencies I'm going to be talking about are going to be in US dollars. Let's start on your date of joining part. This small part that I'm going to be discussing, this only applies for the airline that I am working for. So I assume that by now you guys know where I am working for. So let's assume you've already signed the contract. You, you already have your date of joining and then now you arrive in your um, home base, which is the country where your airlines is based. You're going to be getting a sign-in bonus of 550 US dollars so that you're going to have an allowance of um, some money to buy your groceries, um, buy your essentials. Once you start with the training, you're going to be getting your basic salary of 1000 200 US dollars so basically you're not flying yet so you're not gonna get any hourly flying pay and that's the basic salary let's proceed to the hourly flying pay for um, new joiners so as soon as you start flying you're gonna get an hourly flying pay of roughly $12 per hour so let's say in a month you fly a hundred so multiply that uh, 100 times 12 or 13 you get 1,000 300 US dollars for your hourly flying pay. But it doesn't end there because now you have layovers where you stay in hotels. You also get hotel allowances. Hotel allowances varies among um, different countries. So let's say here in the Philippines, hotel allowance will be around 100 or 100 dollars or less. So it really depends on the location of the hotel. If it's an expensive hotel, you're gonna get a higher um, hotel allowance or layover allowance. Lee, on a good month, an economy cabin crew working for an international airline can earn up to 2,800 US dollars. Of course, as you grow with the company, meaning you get promoted to a higher position, you become a premium class cabin crew, you become a supervisor, your basic and your hourly flying pay increases as well. So meaning your take home is going to be higher than those who are new in the company. And that ends our video. I know um, maybe some of you are going to say that this is a sensitive topic. You're not supposed to be talking about this. But personally, I don't feel that iffy about it i don't feel uncomfortable disclosing these numbers to you guys because i know that those of you who are watching my channel are people who are interested to become a cabin crew so these are one of the questions that you probably have in your mind but you are shy to ask but there are some people who are not shy to ask so yes to just to answer the question in your head here you go this is how much a cabin crew earns in a month I hope that this video clears up your your questions about the um, cabin crew salary because like what I said in the beginning of the video when I was applying to become a cabin crew everything was just blank for me I had no idea how much a cabin crew earns of course it again it's a sensitive topic and we don't really like discussing how much a person earns or we're shy to ask somebody that we know hey how much are you earning so this is to answer your questions I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to click the thumbs up sign and of course the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you're going to be notified on future videos that i will be making this has been days with kat i will see you next time bye now let's make it more interesting let's start with the hourly flying pay when you initially join <laughs> So now that you know, wait, basta ang kalipili ko. And that's the basic.